Hello folks, May 17th, 2018. I'm in Agonka Park, New Lake. It is 9.40, just drove up after work. There's a patch of snow in front of us. Anyhow, I was not going very fast the last 20 kilometers or so because I was worried about the moose. And sure enough, when its butt end was sticking halfway out onto the highway, as it was licking salt on the side, I slowly went around it. I didn't want to stop because yeah, I didn't want to get hit from someone behind, but someone flashed your high beams a few times as I was coming onto them, and that's why they did that because of the moose around the corner. I went a little extra slow because of that. And my high beams weren't on, so that wasn't the reason. But anyhow, going to site 81 to find Paul and Bahar. See you there. Paul, me. How's it going? <laughs> Green Blue Earth, right hey. here. Hey. Subscribe to him at the bottom. Check out his link. A Dalton Park, right here, man. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're going to be seeing the northern lights tonight. Hopefully we can shoot them. Yeah. So Bahar and the parents are just over there. Probably just this site. I think two others are joining me tomorrow on the site. But I set up my tent right now. Paul's going to help me. Here we are, Site 81, New Lake. There's Bahar. Hello. And Bahar's parents already forgot your names. Yeah, what is that? Right. And of course, Paul. Look at the candles they brought. Nice, nice. Fire's going nice. Hot fire. You can see fires out over the lake. Time flies. It's after one. I'm going to sleep. Good morning. Just got a solid nine hours of sleep that I really needed. I haven't slept that long for over a week. But it's time to get up to see what everyone's doing. Got pretty cool last night. Minus one when I got up to go to the washroom at 6 a.m. Now it's pretty warm up the side of the tent. Really close to the highway here. Some other campsites over there. There's the beach. I gotta walk over that way soon and get past from my car. Paul bought paddle boards. Mike and Rita just showed up. Oh yeah, breakfast. Hey Bugs, what are you eating for breakfast? Got some carrots there? That's Paul and Bahar's rescue rabbit found at the side of a road. Obviously not a wild rabbit, plump, different color, friendly. All right, friends, you just turn your GoPro on at the same time as I've turned mine on. You know this guy? Ontario Parks. Check out the description and uh, subscribe to him and watch his journey. You can actually watch this journey, too, but coming from his point of view. Indeed. Your turn. And Paul, <laughs> Green Brew Earth, mentioned him at the start of the video. We're back again. Another journey. Description below. Click his link. Going for a hike. There's a can of goose. Hey, there's a Bahar. Hi guys, sorry about the hair. Wonderful animals. Yeah guys, don't wilderness. leave the movie because of hair, okay? But yeah, we're gonna go for a big hike. Let's do it. Here is the beach. Our campsite's down there by that blue tent. Those some people next to us. People are fishing. Wonder what's in season right now. May 18th. Look at that. Still pretty clean inside. 
I get some for my cooler later. It's pretty good. I wonder if there's any more plows around around people's campsites. Oh yeah, there is some. What site's this? Site 66, May 2, 4, snow. Sixty-five yurt. 65 yurt so no dogs. <laughs> what are yurts? Hundred dollars a night. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Far coast. Well, we didn't know anybody was here. <laughs> Saturday, seventeen. Some showers. Today's a nice day. There we are at the southeast corner of New Lake Campground. We're gonna go jump on some trails. Highland Backpacking Trail starts here from this lot. Where all the burgers come to, to eat the birds, take pictures of them at Mew. But yeah, here we go. We'll go to the lookout, find some rapids. By using your skills that you learned from the other trail. I'm trying to. Look up, Rita. Rita, look up. It's a pond. Highland Backpacking Trail. This is it, we're on it right now. I think that goes to the Track and Tower Trail. But we're gonna go left towards Provoking Lake and check out the rapids. We got one of the campsites. Before the rapids, <laughs> here is yeah, come here. Go over there, go over there, go over there. The Thunderbox with a roof on. What's going on here? That's come on, Rita. <laughs> How cold is it? <laughs> Trout and bass. Mike says, I think it's just set down the sign. Okay, we're at some sort of ATV trail that I think the park uses. But, first loop. Yeah, it's a big climb here.
<laughs> if I see the water flickering in this footprint, I know there's a T-Rex around. Probably a moose. We're gonna watch the loons for a bit. We can go right or we can go left? We can go east, we can go west. <laughs> From what I remember, it's gonna be a left. Oh, cool. All right, that's what I wanted to see before. <laughs> so last time I was here in the winter, we went to here, that end of provoking and camped about right here. So this is where we're gonna, that's where the lookout is right here. We're looking at this little lake right here. Oh, okay. So, all right, here we are. So we were at the base of Starling Lake. Where we stopped for a bit and I was gonna say what kind of, what lake it was. Now we're going over here to that lookout to look where we were at before, I guess. So I don't know if we'll see Provoking Lake. It's down here. So you can see the hill on the other side. So it must be in there. So. Starling Lake. We were down there earlier. Awesome. I see Lake of Two Rivers over there. I see the airfield by Mew Lake. They used to fly the World War II airplanes from and to. Okay, so that's Lake of Two Rivers there. That's the airfield. And that's where we were a little earlier. And there's a big steep drop, so I gotta be careful. All right, we had a fun time at the Highland Lookout section. At the trail, out and back. But we are gonna be heading back soon to do some paddle boarding and muck around New Lake. We're gonna look back over Lake of Two Rivers, and it's hard to believe that just six days ago that was ice covered. So on one week the ice went off, and the buds came out on deciduous trees. Look at that line of them. Kind of neat how they all grew together. I hear a copter. So this woodpecker obviously took out what kind of tree is this hemlock? I don't even know but whatever woodpecker and then some animal stored some pine cones in there for some seeds for a later snack isn't that awesome? we are back from our big day hike how's everyone feeling? Uh, <laughs> ah Whatever. Almost three hours, total moving time, 9.39 kilometers. Yeah. Didn't take a map. Come that way, then came back, because we want to go to this lookout. Didn't really know what was going on half the time, but that's cool. Broken Lake's down here. Oh, it came up here, but yeah. Uh, nice. Anyways. We just go back on a big hike. Oh, the fire, it's raging. We're gonna cook chicken soon. But, chicken! chicken. This can of goose keeps so the sticking its beak on the water. Look at it, look at it. But up in the end, it must be eating some sort of aquatic plant. So we ran out of ice, so Paul and I are just going back to that snow pile. We're gonna grab a bunch of it with an ax. Put it in bags or buckets. She's taking a picture of it. Oh, she's doing it right now. Hey, how's it going? You coming for the ice too? No. <laughs> Some... No. They, We're the guys, for a the guys usually build snowmen, and my granddaughter's usually in the lake's way, so we have a picture of them building a snowman and her in the lake at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Those are great. First of all, I want to shove off the first layer because I don't want it. I have some of this crappy pine needle garbage ice on my beer, my food, or whatever I'm using for the cooler. <laughs> but 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little slight piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna attack the ice field from <clears throat> the north. So yeah, I don't know. That's, I've never done this before. <laughs> Good job. It's a lot of work. This thing's gonna be heavy, I know it is. Want me to grab it in? <clears throat> oh, thank you. I'll eat one. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Paul had the idea is to uh, put the rocks here. They're gonna keep us warm tonight. What we're gonna do is tonight, when we get a big fire, we're gonna take these rocks like we did last night and we're gonna put them on the grill and get them super, super, super hot. When we go to bed, we're gonna wrap them in a towel and each one of us is gonna take a rock to bed with us. So yeah, we got the snow today. This is gonna be for tomorrow. We'll never eat this today, but I just wanna keep it cold, so we're gonna have it's gonna go in there. And I'm gonna put the meat on top. So this is be this is tomorrow, that's breakfast, this is tomorrow night, so the other bag. Keep it simple. First bugs. Yeah, she do that. <laughs> so she can hide. Yeah, so she can hide. Aw. She loves it. She's throwing her. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Chef Paul. How's the cooking going? Well, it's going really good. Chicken's all done. We got a mound of chicken there. Veggies are. Veggies are really close. Get going here. Chicken burgers. Put on, yep. and then um, uh -oh. this is all local, local Essex County. Oh. Hey, Paul, I lost the fire. Oh man, I gotta back up. Well, it's the next day now. It's actually 4.30 p.m. It's about to get up at 10 a.m. And it started getting windy and rainy. So I just lied there and it never stopped until about now. The others went into town. But yeah, I'm just looking for a moose right now. I've got the fire going. We're gonna do steaks tonight when they get back. Well, it's about 5.30 and it's raining more. But I got lots of extra dry clothes, so I'm just gonna hang out in the rain and enjoy the fire. Got a cold one there, and my ribeye steaks. So yeah, I wonder if they're eating in town or not. Yeah, yeah. I thought about going like Canoe Lake for lunch or something. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep sleeping. I can eat it. Oh. Everyone is back. Ladies and gentlemen, look at them all. Huddling around, staying warm, staying dry. In Margaritaville. In Margaritaville. Thank you. How's the girls club doing? Oh, that's good. Oh, did you hear that? Mike, did you hear that? You guys just hear that? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. All right, so Paul just waited this side down with rocks. We're gonna try to cook all the steaks in one shot. See how that goes. Oh yeah.
drive miles from here or take me somewhere where I belong. Hundred of miles down the highway, far away from home. Take me there. Take me to some place where I wake up in the morning and I see the sunshine. I said, take me to a place where I wake up in the morning and I, I see my sunshine. When I look at Bugs. That's all, Mike. Hang all the bugs. The sun is finally out. Test out the paddleboard. On oh, new lake. Shallow lake. It is, eh? Paul just went for a polar bear swim. Oh, yeah. How cold is it? Yeah. Well, folks, that's it. Taking off. Next video, I don't know where it'll be, but please like, subscribe. All in all. Good trip. Caught it in my sleeping, that's for sure. Really need that. But yeah, rain yesterday all day. Today's nice, but now I gotta go home. Oh well. Next video.